Start the recording and then same as per usual, I'll just be a minute or so while I'm looking for something to talk about. I'm good. Okay. Make sure you're not dropping health pack when there's, you know, nobody shooting at you and you're re there, we're just really far away so we might not even need it. Yeah, we're reloading like every half clip right now. Um, you only want to be reloading when you need to, so like when you're out of combat or you have a second, uh, even a se just a second out of combat is when you reload. But you don't want to be reloading when you could be shooting at things. Gotcha. Okay. Last time did we go over target priority? Uh, yeah. Yeah. So we're focusing a lot on the Sigma at the moment, and even the Bastion, um, both of which are going to be much harder targets to kill than Symmetra or Zenyatta or Moira. So I would make sure that you're focusing on the easier targets to kill, who you'll actually be able to focus down. Okay. I might be better if we try to get a better angle from like more above them rather than kind of the side. Yeah, this is fine. Okay. Nice. Good kills. Good job staying alive there. Probably, I would say just make sure you're looking to try to get value faster because a lot of the time it just kind of felt like we were poking, not really actively seeking the kills. That's better. Okay, there we probably could have just kept shooting as Zenyatta because he was just right around that corner and we could have pretty easily walked around the, the wall to see him. Um, also, make sure you're using Helix as a finisher there on Bastion. Probably be pretty easy. Like, once again, Moira there, we can probably use Helix just to finish her off. It's going to do a lot of good burst damage. It does 120 if you land that direct shot. So in a lot of cases, you're going to be able to use it to finish off people really easily. Thanks. Last time... What would I do? Oh, here. Uh, when, when there's like a wall. Yeah. You can wait. Hard. If there's nobody on your side, you might have to move to their side. Or you wait it out. Or you wait for people to come to your side. Kind of either which way. Kind of is going to depend. Alright. Um... Last time, did we discuss going over um, when, which distance you would use Helix to open and, and where you use Helix to clo uh, to finish? Uh, not to open, no. but to finish. I think you said okay. like, go down. Yeah. Okay. We'll, we'll go over. We'll go over that then after we're done this game, um, and then also I think I'm trying to think. Did we go over range as well? I can skim through the notes real quick, but... Um, I think we went, yeah. like, medium. Yeah. So we did go over range last time, you know, 15 to 30 ma meters. Um, last fight, we were maybe going outside of that range a little bit, going a little too far. Gotcha. So get closer. Yeah, just make sure you're staying in that medium range, because otherwise you're doing too little damage. <laughs> nice kill. That was quite the shot. Ears open. Enemy contact. Ears open. <laughs> Symmetra was kind of beaming our teammates in the back and we didn't notice. So make sure we're keeping our ears and eyes open. Um, and we'll be able to just notice that the sims on our back line. Yeah, that's something I, I like struggle with a lot. Ready for you. Like, I don't know if it's, I, I get like different headphones, but like, usually I just can't notice like stuff or anything like that. Yeah, we, we can touch on that as well after we're done here. Like, I don't even know how you could tell that earlier. <laughs> <laughs> that 
Heels coming up. Okay, right now, um, we cap point. We want to be much further forwards and setting up for that next fight because they're not going to be coming into our spawn when the cart's up ahead of us. And we just want to probably be taking their high ground and already be in a position so we're not having to do this long rotation in the middle of the fight. So for here, would I wait or... You can wait for people to come to the left side of it or you just wait it out, right? It's kind of the either or once again. Pay attention to where our team's at. There we kind of lost our whole team and we're still kind of going aggro and going in. So make sure you're paying attention to where your team's at. Backing up once uh, we s see that they're all dead and not engaging when they're all dead. Gotcha. So we're watching kill feed as well. Yeah, how often would you recommend just looking at the kill feed? Like whenever, when it, whenever you see stuff happening, right? It, it's perif peripheral vision, right? It's not something that you need to actively be watching all the time. If you're trying to get used to it, then sure, you might want to, you know, you can pay attention to it more so than usual if you're trying to practice at it. But besides that, just generally speaking, you don't need to be staring at it. You just should be looking when you see stuff happening, when you see movement. Once trance is over, just make sure we're not holding on to our ultimate, right? We don't want to be never using it because that doesn't do anything. Uh oh, make sure you're dropping health pack once you get in that duel. That'd be a great time to drop health pack. Um, and then, yeah, besides that, not popping ult when we're low HP. I'm still fighting. Yeah, we just don't want to hold on to it either because ults that aren't used don't do anything. They don't get value. No, uh -oh, stream quality went down a hair. Drop health pack if you're in a duel. Oh, aim. <laughs> aim, yeah. I mean, I just changed sensitivity. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, I'm, I'm guessing that's what it is. But... Yeah. Yeah, when they have things that can contest us, we just sometimes maybe want to be careful about being too far off on our own. Um, or being ready to back up and, and get support. Uh, requesting healing, m maybe can help get her like Moira to come over or something like that. Alright. Um, uh, really quick, audio settings. If you press like ex options real quick and then go to sound um, on the top left. Okay, you do have Dolby Atmos for headphones on in-game, music volumes, lower end, that's good, master volumes up. Just make sure system volume can be different. You have sound effects real low. Um, that's not a bad, like, necessarily super bad. I might have sound effects higher in comparison to music volume. Um, just make sure that it's, in general, the game is loud enough to where you can hear things. Um, it's going to be subjective because everyone has different system sounds. Um, to, to, to be, yeah, besides that, Dolby Atmos for headphones is good. If you have a, the option on your headset, I don't know if you're working with like a branded headset or not. Yeah, um, uh, HyperX Cloud 2 wireless. Yeah, then, oh yeah, then X, then go back to your settings. Um, I believe that HyperX, that, um, doesn't, that comes with surround sound just embedded in it, right? I'm not too sure. <laughs> yeah. I, you can double check it by like Googling it or something, but spatial audio, turn it from Dolby Atmos for headphones just to system settings. Okay. Let's see if that does anything different. This part of the country is so beautiful. Um, because that, I think the, if I'm not mistaken, Dolby Atmos for headphones, I might be wrong on this, but I think Dolby Atmos for headphones might be like five, like five directions, but um, HyperX might be seven directions. 
I know it's really loud. <laughs> well, if it's it's way too loud, then you can turn it down. It's just you know loud enough is loud enough, right? It, it needs to be loud yeah, enough, yeah. and make sure as well that you're actively listening for footsteps and gunshots and abilities and ultimates, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh -huh. That high ground might honestly be a little too close to the action. Not a lot of room to maneuver on it. Um, you might be better off maybe being up there for a second. But honestly, you might even be better off just standing back on the gas station high ground. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, I, the reason why I go there now is because uh, I used to go on the gas station. But one game, one game it was like they couldn't even move the point. So like the oh, gas when you, station, when you I was doing them. like no damage, yeah. Yeah, well, if if gas stations, like if you can't see from gas station your team's just holding way too far up, then that'd be fine. Um, but you can also try jumping on the sign to your left as well if you're trying to get above them. Like, if you didn't know, you could can stand on that sign right next to you, to your left-hand side. Yeah, you can stand over there. That, that can help you get better angles. Uh-oh. We got shredded. My yeah, apologies. Like good. You're all good. <laughs> yeah, I was just saying my apologies because that's kind of distracting you there. But, you know, if there's a passion turn in the corner, then just make sure you're backing up because there's not really too much cover up there. Yeah, I think the sound effects help, but I feel like I can hear my own teammates' footsteps. Yeah, and that's and that they do have different footstep sounds, um, and I believe enemy enemy footsteps are louder than teammate footsteps, um, and they have different sounds, so you you're, you're you kind of get used to them as you go along. Yeah. At this point, like it's it's kind of hard to describe just because it's such a embedded thing in you know in me. But they are different, so just as as you go along, you'll get used to those. Yeah, gotcha. Ooh, kill. Oh, so close. I still got it. So for here, would I push up because they're up there? Or? Yeah, if your team pushes up, you could. Um, yeah. yeah. Okay then. Great kill. That's how that type of thing is how you want to be using helix. Just it's it's that was a very f good combo, very fast. A lot of times are very delayed with how we're using helix. I want to drop a health pack rather than just running around the 80 HP. I like that we um, are looking to use our ults a bit more, but there we can probably just keep high ground. Not major reason that we need to drop from high ground, um, just because that puts us much closer to Reaper and his shots, and also just gives up visibility in a lot of cases. So I just stay up on high ground unless there's a reason to drop from high ground. Then you know you're gonna be safe when you drop. Gotcha. Okay. 
Okay. Pull your crosshair hair up. Make sure you're going for those headshots. Good helix. Yeah, just make sure we're going for those headshots because we're kind of aiming at body and him by shots as a result. If I'm still standing, I'm still fighting. Even there on Reaper, we at when he was 30 HP, we kept trying to shoot him with our shots rather than maybe helixing to finish. So we'll go over helix a bit more after we're done here. Oh, your stream oh kind of. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, I just started lagging. Massive. Uh -huh. Uh oh, got maybe a little too aggro. Uh, make sure to keep in the hot, like high ground unless we have a reason to drop um, and just not running into their May Reaper. They're very close range characters. So make sure we're maintaining our mid range. Uh, can you press tab real quick? Yep. So, oh, I can't even read what that says. Uh, six deaths. Is that that is? Eight deaths. Uh, eight. Okay. Yeah, eight yep. Deaths. Just make, you know, that's in just a, maybe a, a few more than we could have if we were maybe. Staying away, using high grounds, uh, paying attention to our, our surroundings, that sort of thing. God damn, I just hear footsteps everywhere. Yeah, with time you'll kind of get used to who's, who's or who's. Okay, good job dropping health back. Hmm, uh. unfortunate. L maybe look to keep some distance between the two of you, so r backing up and running away, that sort of thing. All right, I am streaming. Let's go over a couple different things here. All right. Um, okay, actually, in our notes, it does look like I did discuss this last time, but as a, let's do a reminder on Helix um, here. Yeah, I, I see that we talked about it, but maybe, you know, maybe it slipped the mind and we'll just review it just because this is just real important. Um, yeah, Helix, cause. you open with it when you are further than 20 meters. So 20 meters is kind of your split. Um, you're gonna use it to finish people off. I'm not I'm not noticing us doing this as often as we should be. A lot of times we will pelt and pelt and pelt and pelt and pelt and we'll get people down to like there and then we'll helix. Um, and this is just inefficient because helix, if you land a direct helix, it does 120 damage. That's how much damage that does, right? So we can get people down one, two, three and a quarter bars Bef like and then we can helix to finish them off uh, so that would be the equivalent of one two that is almost three three that would be the equivalent of like two headshots and a body shot and then we can helix um or two two body shots three body shots and a headshot right there, i mean like you can do whatever combo you want to do it in but um in any case right it it's gonna when you're landing these combos you can finish people off really fast like that pretty much it, it's 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 going to be pretty quick and we did that like once or twice but then other times we would be very delayed in using it waiting till people were like this much hp before we would, would use helix right just make sure you're looking to use it as that finisher to burst people's health down but once you start getting too far away 
then it doesn't act as a good finisher because they could uh, um, like one firstly it's going to be much more inaccurate at a range because it's a projectile and then also it's going to be slower so you're better off opening with it so shooting it as you're you know firing first which also I didn't really see it's doing too much but firing first and then that way it's getting there all the damage is going in all at the same time yeah Head level. I just even through your ult. You um, have so much potential. On <sighs> settings. Okay, uh, last time, if I'm going and checking our notes real quick. Okay. So, did we go over the improvement process last time? Um, I don't think so. Don't or, think so. You just recap it? Yeah, sure. Um, I tried to go over it with everyone, and I think last time maybe I forgot to, um, because I don't see it, like, it's not highlighted in the notes, which usually it is, so it's possible that I forgot to review it, um, which is my apologies. Because that's a really important, how, knowing how do you put this stuff into practice. Um, you're going to be able to put this stuff into practice um, pretty much the same way you work on anything. And that is that you are going to make sure that while you're playing, that you're actively focusing on the things that you're trying to work on. Uh, that means that you're not going to come in and you're not going to autopilot. You're not going to just play to play. And contrary to popular belief, you're not going to purely play to win. But instead, you're going to play to improve. And what that will look like is you're going to pick something out, let's say, for example, just something as simple as helix usage. And we're going to pick it out and we're going to be thinking to ourselves, helix, 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 abilities, 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 abilities. And when we do that, well, now our helix usage and our abilities are probably going to be doing better than if we did not give them any thought whatsoever. And therefore, if we keep that up for a long enough period of time, it's going to form it as a habit. Once it forms as a habit, then we can move on to something else to work on. We don't really need to uh, think about it as much. It just comes naturally. And then um, from there on, we can work on something else. Um, final thing I'd say is just don't try to do everything all at once. That'll be way too overwhelming. Instead, pick one category of things or one to three smaller things within a category. All makes sense. Was that ringing any bells or did I not cover that last time? Oh, is my cutting out? My bad. I think I'm live. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, but I don't know if it's me or you, but I mean, I still understood most of it, but um, oh, I was like, I was lagging. That, uh, um, so, yeah, so, I'm not too, yeah, like the stream, huh? Okay, but I don't know if it's me or not. It's possible, it might be you, my at least Discord saying I'm at 6 MS right now. Um, and I have good connection in game, so I'm not, so I'm not sure. Did, did you get the gist of what I was saying? Yeah, 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 I was gonna ask, um, what would you recommend I work on first? Yeah, and that's the, I'll go, we'll cover that at the end. If you remember last time, um, we'll go over the main points of the session oh, as the well priority. as, okay, yeah, gotcha. on, on top of that. And then that's gonna be my, re essentially my recommendation of the, the thing to work on, right? Or the okay, things yeah. to work on. Yep. All right, um, do, do, do. You can queue up for. I don't. We don't have time to do another comp game, so uh, we can do a quick play game. Play, play, a little bit of a quick play game if you'd like. Um, with yeah, our remaining time. I'll just do support. Okay, yeah. sounds good. I actually wanted some tips on support because uh, one of the one of the challenges is to do in, uh, do like win ten games with uh, what's it called all all rolls, but whenever you click all rolls, it just always. Do. Hmm, I see. Cause it's the fastest one. Yeah, yeah. Um. Uh, yeah, you showed me. Um, I haven't really, yeah, I haven't really practiced this film. Sounds good. Sorry, I'm just, I, I, <laughs> I, I always forget what up.
yeah, I like yeah. to get those reminders. Yeah, it was quite a long time too. <laughs> I've been doing this for years. So, Who the hell are you? um, I should play more, but I'm trying to get better at Baptiste because I know, um, higher tier players just play Baptiste more, like in less than meta. Mm -hmm. So I'm just trying to get better at Baptiste. There we saw that Hanzo was low and then kind of looked away, like we t spent two seconds trying to shoot at him and then we kind of looked away and stopped trying to heal him. Um, also, just make sure you're watching for people to dive us, using cover, staying far enough away. You can leap to get away from them, right, as all options. Um, another thing is make sure you're not overhealing, so that's when we're trying to heal people who are already full HP, and that's a waste of time and resources when we could be shooting, looking for somebody else to heal, like reloading, etc. Yeah, I find it really hard with Baptiste to, like, find the balance of when to shoot and when mm -hmm. to heal. The main thing is, is just anytime healing is not needed, that's when shooting comes. Here I would shoot. Oh, wait, wait. Yep, so just make sure they're po possibly using uh, immortality field as an option to save bomb. Uh oh. Avoid walking in straight lines. I think that's kind of what got us there. So avoid just kind of pressing W and not moving side to side. That's going to get us. Headshot in a lot of cases. So, no standing still, no walking in straight lines. Often want to do kind of zigzags, going left and right. AD, AD, or, uh, yeah, AD strafing. Audio awareness, just a hair better, right? <laughs> okay. Uh, once again, make sure you're not holding on to your immortality field. You you still want to use good immortalities, but there's been a lot of people dying next to us and, and we're not using it. Great immortality. Just want to make sure, once again, that we're using it. Okay. Getting killed. Um, that could mean a couple of different things. That could mean that we're too close to them, to the enemy team. It could mean that we're not leaping away from them, right? An easy way to get out of a dive is to leap up, for example, to high ground is a great way to do it. So just have it charged and ready to go if people are coming close. And for Baptiste, is he uh, like soldier, like mid-range? Yeah, uh, from enemies, yeah. Teammates, he's close range. Enemies, he's mid range. Okay, once again, um, make sure we're not like holding on to ults when we could be using it. Okay, make sure that we are. Yep, yeah, there. Never mind, you're good. Okay. 
If you need to burst heal someone, consider using your uh, your shift and not necessarily. Sometimes you might not need the immortality if you if they're not being damaged that fast. Yeah, before I I didn't I actually didn't even know that shift healed them. I thought it was just a self heal. Nope. It, yep. It actually it heals your teammates. Yep. Mhm. Mm oh, okay. Yep. See, it heals you more than your teammates, but it's a it's a ten meter like radius around you of team healing. So you use it when you need healing. You you use it when or like you know actually need need healing. Otherwise, you just use your passive. Um, you use it when your team needs big, like, you know, big amount of group healing. Don't use it if, you know, everyone's down, like, 5 HP. But if your team needs a lot of group healing, or you can also use it to burst heal people. So if they need a lot of healing real fast, that's a way that you can give them extra healing. Time to start uh, making up for it. Good immortality field, aim head level, it's gonna kill much faster. Request healing when you're low, get your other support to look at you. Um, I think it's defaultly bound to X, so that'll just allow you to get healing much faster. Oh, you just remember that it goes where we're pointing. So if we're pointing straight at their team, it's going to go inside their team. <laughs> Can't really shoot through it if it's all the way over there. Um, immortality field, some, I'm definitely liking that we're using it more, that is fantastic, that we're not holding on to it. At the same time though, we want to be using it for when teammates are in danger, and sometimes it's seeming as though we're not really using it in those situations. Um, danger is going to be things, like, you know, danger is not always low HP. I can be low HP and sitting around the corner and be completely safe. Um, but if I, I can be full HP and right next to a diva bomb and very much in danger. 
right? So make sure that we're looking to see, uh, is my teammate in danger? Sometimes, for example, we'll have a teammate who's low and around the corner from enemies and we'll still throw it on them. Or we'll have a teammate, you know, we, we had D.Va at one point who is being shot at by like one DPS. Um, but what, you know, and she was critical, but she still had like 300 HP, had you healing her, your, your other support healing her. And uh, um, at the same time, uh, yeah, at the same time, there's only one person shooting at her. So and then we were using immortality. So you just got to think through some of these situations of it. Are they actually like, are they in danger of dying, right? And that's and that's when immortality field wants to be used. Um, you can probably go ahead and queue up again. Um, thing that's we're we're good to go. Though we might leave like halfway through the game. It was all good. Do you have any plans for Thanksgiving? Oh man, that's that's a long way ahead to think about. When is <laughs> when is Thanksgiving at? <laughs> it's November a month from now. Yeah. yeah, month from now. Uh, uh pro I guess. I'll Say that again. Halloween, I guess then. Yeah, ha Halloween's a little bit closer. Um, Thanksgiving, probably same thing as past couple of years. Going over, meeting up with family and my grandparents. Halloween. I don't know what I'm doing on Halloween on Halloween, but tomorrow I have a Halloween party um, with oh, nice. the the youth group that I lead at. Oh, you lead a youth group? Uh, yeah, I'm one of the leaders. Oh, nice. Mm-hmm. Well, what do you guys do at the youth group? Uh, well, at the party, we have, we have uh, it's probably going to be a lot more just hanging out, having fun. Uh, it's, I think it's a costume party, so we have to bring a costume and stuff like that. But on a normal night, it's about like 20 minutes to start us off. Kids showing up, um, kind of hanging out, doing like a quote unquote icebreaker. Usually it's just kind of like a small game, just to chill out and let people come in. Um, kind of, kind of like a small party game sort of thing. Then we do about like. 45 minutes of like a bible lesson and then after that it's like maybe like third maybe like 45 minutes 30 minutes of a game so that that'd be more like activity sportsy <laughs> stuff gotcha. and then snacks and then yep that's about it yeah because uh for the company oh shit i missed that one could have been Also, please turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Probably could shift if we're trying to heal up a little bit faster as well. I get that going. Well, this Genny has been behind us the whole time. <laughs> oh, well, he missed Mercy. Did she die? Oh, oh no. Nice. Alright. Yeah, again, he's pretty good. But yeah, I was just saying, like, um, the company I work for, I'm actually calling, like, a youth group right now. Oh, okay. Um, I'm just, like, uh, what I'm trying to do is, like, figure out if they're bringing in any food for, like, mm -hmm. either the employees or, like, the, the students. Mm -hmm. But, like, I was just going to ask, like, is that something you guys usually do, like, bringing any food? Bring in food to the youth group? Yeah, we yeah. we we usually have snacks at, at the end. Mm -hmm. Oh, gotcha. But it's not like anything like maybe like a a, a sandwich, burger. Not usually, no. Maybe at, at an at event. Uh, I think like at the Halloween party, it's dinner. Um, oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, but not not usually. Yeah, because that's basically like my job. Just <laughs> to do like what, like catering or. Uh, so I work for his company, and we're actually a catering service, kind of mm. like, uh, well, I would say we're better than DoorDash and, and uh, <laughs> Uber because, uh, we don't have any, like, extra fees like they do, mm -hmm. and, uh, we don't upcharge what the restaurant's actually going for. Mm. Um, we basically just, we charge what the restaurant charges. Oh, All right. 
Uh, now, of course, you're talking, but a l- little, little bit of some just heal botting, make sure, you know, we're shooting when people are full HP and stuff like that. Um, besides that, yeah, um... How do you how do you guys make a profit out of not charging more than what the restaurant? So we uh, yeah, and the platform's free for the company, so we just charge our restaurants. Uh, I think a fifteen percent. Oh, you charge the restaurants? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm, okay. But but the the upside for the restaurant is actually having that visibility on the platform. Yeah. Uh, my my more I customers. Don't really, I don't even know why. Uh, my cousin's actually like a, a locally owned business. And he, he actually uses uh, our platform. Mm-hmm. And he got a $20,000 $20, order from Easy Cater. Oh, wow. Well. So, so the upside is just um, having that restaurant in our platform mm-hmm. so that they get that visibility. Because without yeah. it, uh, he would have never gotten that order. Yeah, well, I'm not, I'm not sure if you guys like are. I, I heard that there's this really successful one. I'm trying to remember where it was um, in one of the Asi- Asian countries um, that does a similar thing, except for they have a whole system where they will give out discount. The restaurants can give discounts to come at off hours, um, so you can get you can get like a fifty percent discount if you come at like the times that no one else is coming at, um, and that just keeps keeps it uh, more spread out for the for the restaurant and, and gives them options. So, you know that just an idea. But sorry, well, we can get back to some of the coaching, but you know, shit chat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, actually, um, it's quick play. Why don't you mind hopping out? We can do some wrap up here for the end. Alrighty. Okay, so we did mostly soldier. Hair, bit of Baptiste there. Um, soldier, um, drop health packs. You actually did much better at that after I mentioned it, but just make sure, you know, every time, you know, you're in a duel one-on-one, right? If you're in a one-on-one with somebody, there's no reason not to drop it. You drop it when you're low, drop it when you're trying to stay on a position. So like, let's say we're trying to come up to this high ground, um, with ult, without ult, and we're just trying to stay here, right? And we know that as soon as we start shooting at them, where are they going to look? At you probably, oh, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> so as soon as they end the duel, like I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if them. if we come up here on the high ground and we start shooting at them, they're probably gonna look up at us. So we can come up to the high ground and potentially, if for example, if you're ulting, you can come up and plop it before you even ult, right? You can plop it and ult like kind of at the same time. Usually, if you're ulting, it's a good thing to have down. It keeps gives you more sustain. It get, keeps you alive longer. Helix, um, make sure you're just looking to get those combos down better. Um, use it as a finisher. I'd say most of the time, usually be in t- between 20 meters and closer past that he says the opener and just make sure that you're looking to use it to just burn down targets and burst down targets whereas a lot of times it feels like targets are taking longer to kill than they should um and then that's just gonna mean more kills actually secured um overall that i would say is probably gonna be like a medium maybe higher end of medium for you to work on um priority for you to work on and then we got visor visor make sure you're using it um don't like sprint to, the, to their team with it because remember you still have that same range and then on top of that you now have you know aim bot so keep your range don't run into the reaper don't you know drop from high ground unless you really need to and it's safe um and then uh, besides that Keep aiming a head level because you get head shots. So keep tracking when you're in your ult. Um, and uh, I think that's mostly it. Make sure you're using it. Don't hold on to it. Once again, you use that. You did that a bit better once I mentioned it. But I noticed with a lot of things, with your ults, with your abilities, you have to kind of hold on to them unless I mention it. Right? Yeah. Um, so make sure you're using them. And then once you start using them, that's when you get to pra- really practice and get better with using them. And we can, you know, that's when we can really go over how to use them better. That's but the first step is actually job. using them, right? Um, ult usage overall, maybe like a lower end of medium. Then you have your Baptiste. Baptiste. Um, when it comes to your abilities, shift, right, 10 meter radius, heals teammates, use it to burst heal teammates, group heal and heal yourself, burst heal yourself. Um, immortality, just use it more often, use it when people are in danger, not just low HP, um, and make sure we're just watching for situations to use it. Once again, once I mentioned it, you did use it more often, but we want that to continue even when I'm not mentioning it. Um... Overall, that was probably about higher end of medium as well. 
ult usage, make sure that you remember it goes where you place it, so, or where you're pointing, so don't point into their team, place it in front of yourself. Uh, besides that, I think that's, I, that's like the only one I saw. Once again, use it. So probably same thing, like a low random medium. Um, mechanics, keep aiming at head level, hit those head shots, and notice we, we were still kind of aiming body level. Um, so make sure we're aiming up just a hair more. Um, besides that, let's see what else is there. Um, do, 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 do. Target priority, right? Shoot it. Uh, you fix it once again. Once I mentioned it, you fix it really fast. But just make sure you're shooting at those easy to kill targets, not the Sigma, not the Bastion, unless you have the opportunity to kill them. Um, you are me. I think that you don't reload once again. Uh, I mean, like you're. For, I'm sorry. Question for the last one. Uh, at what, at what health would it be like acceptable Surviving to start and shooting the tank or, or like the bastion? Uh, low, low health. I mean, it's subjective. So I mean, like it's just gonna be like, what's the health in which you think you can burst someone? Like a two H, two hundred HP target, we can do that on. Okay, so maybe if they're 200 HP, right? But also if they're big tanks, so they'll take you know more damage than uh, a squishy, especially from like other teammates. So other opportunity things like do they have abilities? Are they out in the open? Are they too far into your team? Um, do they have team support? Or are they off on their own? Um, do you know? Are they? Do you have your team shooting at them with you? If it's just you shooting at them, that might mean that you have less damage than if you have your whole team shooting at them. If they have your whole team shooting at them and they're out of position, you could probably melt them pretty fast, even if they're like 300 HP or 400 HP. But if it's just you shooting at them, then maybe it might you might want to save it for like you know 200 HP, something like that. And then you especially want to shoot them if they're really low. If they're you know if it's like a 30 HP, they're 100% shoot at them. Yeah. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. Alright. Um, overall mechanics, maybe about low random medium. Kinda, you know, seeing a lot of mediums at the moment. Um next we got your also make sure you're not reloading every two seconds once again you're doing a fantastic job of really quickly adapting. We just want to form these as habit you can like you kind of have Thing, you just kind of turn that switch and you start doing it right or you stop doing it or whichever way right you're doing really good at catching on really fast we just want to form those as habits so like i said focus on the thing continuously do it um because once again with reloading after i mentioned it you just didn't do it again um which is great um then uh, moving on we got your positioning take high mo big thing was don't st within the you know don't step within those 15 meters, right? We would constantly get like right here against the Reaper and May, right? They love that range much better than you do. So keep your distance from them, right? Remember it's like 15 to 30 is your preference range. So look to stay at those ranges as a preference, keep your distance, um, but also don't go too, too far. Take high grounds, use cover. Um, overall, yeah, good positioning usage of cover, bad positioning absence of cover. Overall, I'd say positioning probably like higher end of medium and then you have awareness awareness pay attention to your surroundings keep your eyes and your ears open pay attention once again like if that's the thing you're trying to work on you get better at it just by actively focusing giving yourself that reminder that's re really all that awareness is is this pay paying attention and when you you know put effort into paying attention you pay attention um Pay attention to your health bar request healing when you're low. Where's your team? Where's the enemy team? What's enemy's health bars at? Um, make sure you're not waiting until they're too low in helix. What's your teammate's health bars at? That's another thing on on uh, mechanics. Watch over healing on Baptiste, right? Um, and then damage when healing's not needed. Overall awareness probably was. I'm trying to think, probably. I don't know. That one probably had some more stuff, but I think a lot of a lot in that gets fixed if we're just kind of through the other things. Honestly, I just put it at a higher end of medium. Um, so put all that in order because a lot of it's sent like kind of similar, right? Um, just a little bit of everything, which isn't a bad thing. Just you know, a little bit of everything. Um, a you are a.
look to work on your... Mm, look. I'm not going to put a, awareness first, even though maybe that has a, the most stuff, because like I said, I think you could work on other things and get it. Let's say ability usage number one, because that's gonna, hopefully going to be decently easy and really important. Number two, we're going to say positioning. Number three, mechanics. Um, number four... We're going to put at uh, your awareness and number five volt usage. Any questions? Uh, no questions. No. All right. Recording.